Hi, in this video, I'm going to show differential chartography for other measurements such as DKI. Thanks, Mohammed, for sending me a sample data. He raised a request about using differential chartography for other measurements such as NADI, such as DKI, or any other, other modeling methods. The data he sent me is a cholesterol patient with three scans. He also sent me the diffusion ketosis metrics in Nifty format. As we can see here, this is the first scan, the second scan, and third scan. So we will use the difference between first and second scan and use differential chartography to show tracks showing ketosis differences. So to start with, let's begin with the SRC file. Here, started from step T2 from the SRC file, um, we will pick the baseline scan. And here it doesn't matter whether we use the second or third scan, the only purpose is to provide a framework for fiber tracking. So I pick up the first scan and simply run GQI reconstruction to create a fit file. Once the fit file is created, so this one is only created using the first scan. Then we can sh show how the scan looks like in the baseline. A quick quality check is just to run a quick open tracking, see if everything's good. There are other videos showing how to troubleshoot data if the whole tracking doesn't look right. And now we are going to use diffusion ketosis to power uh, differential tracking. The first step I'm going to do is insert those slides using the slices, insert T1, T2. Here it doesn't really need a T1 or T2. It can be any other modality. So the first scan we have azoketosis and the second scan we also have azoketosis. To avoid confusion, I copy them here and rename as AK1 and AK2. Just so that two of them and load it together. Yes, a studio will apply linear registration to make sure that those two scan align well with the DWI native space. So once these two slides inserted, wait until it stabilized, finish the registration, then we can create a, create a new tracking matrix for differential fiber tracking to track decrease of SL ketosis. What we are going to add is the first ketosis minus the second one. Here, the matrix name should match the one shown in the slides dropbox. So AK1 minus AK2. So any positive value from this matrix will indicate, indicate a decrease of azoketosis. So pretty okay. As you shown here, cannot find AK1, AKI2. Let's, so here I input the wrong matrix then. And we will need to make sure that this, the one we pick up is from the list. So here we have AK1, AK2. Make sure to input the right name. Pretty okay. If everything matches, then it shows new matrix added. The new name will appear on the matrix disk of the differential tracking. So here we said that this matrix and assign 0.2, which means 20% decrease between AK1 and AK2. And then make sure to increase a little bit of the minimum length to remove fragmented results and also have enough seed points and create further tracking. So as you can see here, it shows tracks with azoketosis 
equals more than 20% between these two strands. Here I load the region to show the relative location. So you can see nicely matching the lesion location of a stroke patient. And this shows the pathway that has more than 20% decrease in SO ketosis. Similarly, I can also map the increase of SO ketosis by assigning AK2 minus AK1. You see another new matrix added here. Set that then and click tracking. So those are increase more than 20%, whereas this is decrease more than 20%. I can assign different color to tell their difference. So for this one, I can assign blue color or either change to another color, the red color for increase. And then blue color and red color. So as you can see here, I apply two differential tracking. One is increase, increase here, labeled by red. Another one is decrease. And this allow us to show the as your ketosis difference between these two scans. Similar principle we can apply to other ketosis majors or not the majors by inserting the slides and then create new metrics for differential tracking. And this will allow us to study longitudinal change combining with any other modeling method. Thank you for watching this video.